3D printing a water block is something I've been trying to do for quite some time, starting with a Raspberry Pi and then working up to a full cover video card block. A year ago, we had a Raspberry Pi water block with our own 3D printed barb fittings, and it leaked horribly, as you can see here. But if we switch over to metal barb fittings, you know, the real ones, is it going to be better? Well, it leaks less, so... Today we're going to be exploring what we can do to try and get this water block thing to finally work. It's been a year. Eventually, the goal is to have metal heat sinks inside of the water blocks to, you know, actually transfer the heat effectively, not through plastic. But before we get to that point, which is the eventual goal, we need to work on just making it not leak, even with just a solid flat plastic bottom. Last winter, we were using that light blue pattern with the 3D printed barb fittings, but today we're going to be focusing on getting the print settings dialed in so that we can have a leak-proof model like the one on the right. In Ultimaker Cura and most other slicing programs, you can control how much material comes out. So, you know, if you squirt out some extra material, then maybe there won't be as many gaps. So a couple weeks ago, I printed out four of the same model. This doesn't have any screw threads in it, mind you. On the far right, we have 100% extrusion, then we have 110, then we have 125 and 115 on the outermost layer. And on the far left, we have 150% extrusion all around. On the bottom surface, it doesn't look like there should be any significant differences. However, if we look at the sides, especially the one with the gradual overhang as it moves up, we can definitely see that it gets a lot uglier with the over-extrusion as we go towards the left here. Besides being the ugliest duckling of the group, the 150% extrusion model was so over-extruded that I couldn't even get the second barb fitting on it. I gave up after about 20 minutes or so of just trying to screw in the second barb fitting. You can see that the plastic is pretty torn up from the threads of the screw. And you can see here that I managed to scrape off some of the nickel coating on those fittings as well. Overall, not a good experience. Starting with 100% extrusion, we can see that we leaked a lot at the barb fittings. The 110% extrusion failed a lot more significantly and still leaked at the barb fittings. 125% extrusion wasn't as bad, still leaking at one of the fittings in particular, and we actually had a little leak here in the bottom corner. You know, the side that would be up against whatever electronic device you're cooling, so no big deal there. And again, that 150% extrusion can't even get the fitting on it, so not good. But after remembering that Thingverse is a thing, and that I could just download models that other people have designed, I looked up other models that had the same thread pattern as the barb fittings, seeing if maybe just getting the threading in there might help me out. So after printing several versions to figure out what scale I needed to set the model to so it would actually fit, and then fusing it to the water blocks, and several hours of printing later, that we're finally ready to actually start cutting a square hole in the bottom, getting some heat sinks in there, and try it out on a Raspberry Pi for realsies. Until then, pick up a t-shirt off Amazon, go download a computer case and print it out, or just like, share, subscribe, or check out another video.